It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Woo! Hey, sports fans, welcome to the show. Well, I hope you two are ready for some sparks. Let's kick it off. Screws, screws, anybody? Okay, one screw for each of you. You know, I'm an equal opportunity to screw you. Okay, dig this. Say you get a question and you know that your neighbor knows that you know that neither of you knows what the hell the answer is. Then you better be the first to buzz in and hit the S key. That's how you screw your neighbor. It forces them to answer that question. Remember, if you're going to get screwed, screw first. All right, all limbered up? Great. Let's get going. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? One. The category behind this question is Mo, Larry, Curly, and Gretzky. Okay, swing this one and I'll give you 2,000 bucks. Everything in place? Because here she comes. Imagine that the Three Stooges and some friends form an NHL expansion team. What could transpire in a game that would give their opponent a power play? Curly scores on his own goal, Larry falls and cracks his sword. If Mo were sent to the penalty box, the other team would have a power play because the Stooges team would be short-handed. You know, come to think of it, Mo would make a good enforcer. Spread out! Player one, it's your choice. What looks good to you? And the category is, but can the big man sing? And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, help me remember this guy's name. He led the NFL in rushing every season he played, and he never missed a game. He retired early to make movies and was one of a dirty dozen. Who is he? Earl Campbell, Walter Payton, Jim Brown, or Billy D. Williams? <laughs> Jim Brown of the Cleveland Browns is considered one of the greatest running backs ever. He quit football at his peak while filming The Dirty Dozen with Lee Marvin in 1966. <laughs> and who could blame him for leaving football for Lee Marvin? Player two.